Hey everybody, thanks for watching the channel. Um, today I have something a little bit different for you. I'm going to be reviewing my Leather by Dragonfly Sedgley tool pouch. So come check it out. Okay, so first of all, I wanna say that I bought this with my own money. I got this last year, right when it came out, I think in November. So I've had it for about a year and I feel comfortable enough that I could give a good review on it right now. Okay, so one of the best parts about this pouch is how small it is and how it fits on your waist really easily and kind of out of the way, but it has a lot of room to hold a lot of different various things. So you could fit a lot into it. And I have found that, um, you know, there's actually more that I can fit in this little pouch than the couple of past uh, aprons that I used to wear. So that's why I prefer using this just because it's out of the way, it's light and small, I can throw it on any time I want, but um, it still fits a lot of stuff. So let's get into what I have. So first off on the side, which I clip onto this uh, little pouch here, I carry my tape measure and this is a fast cap metric and standard uh, measure. And uh, this is just a really great tape measure. It's really cheap. I think it was like $15 or something at Woodcraft, but um, it's nice to have metric and standard measurements on it. I don't use metric a lot, but um, with this, I, I mean, it's just easy because I can do both. Um, so that just clips on the side. Next in that pouch, I keep a razor blade, and this is just a uh, razor blade uh, type that you can break away each of these tips, and I find this really useful just for all sorts of stuff. It's got a little opener on the side of it if I need to pry a paint can open or something like that. The next thing that I have in this small pouch here is a center punch. If I'm marking uh, a board or kind of punching a little starter hole into something if I'm going to use a drill bit. So this comes in handy. Next on the front here we have two areas where you can hold a pencil. And I have both a Pica pencil in here and also a um, Dixon style pencil that's similar to the Pica. But I carry both in here because the Pica I can get a little bit sharper of a tip on, or quite a bit sharper actually. And the pencil sharpener is actually inside this holder here so all you got to do is pull it out and sharpen the pencil this way but I also have this Dixon style this one has the same size lead and it uses a similar method to sharpen it so if you turn this and pull this out that is the sharpener and you can sharpen like so but this one doesn't get quite as sharp so what I use this for mostly is if I'm going to be planing a board and I need to mark a large area or if I'm running this over the jointer I, I like this pencil a little bit better just because it's uh, it doesn't come to a nice point so I don't mind dulling the tip of the pencil here okay off on the side here I have this Craig um, multi-mark and this is really the, the um, main way that I use this. Um, it has other forms where you can unscrew this and turn it into a, a, a square and uh, for a 90 degree angle or for also 45 degree angles. And it's got a level on here. It's got a little small lip here. I use that all the time with my track saw if I'm laying up just a small little cut um, to get a straight line rip on something and line up my track. I use it all the time for that. So very handy, um, and that's why it has found a spot in my pouch. So next you can see there's a large main pouch in the back here, and it's really a catch-all for anything you wanna use, and basically what I have in there is my folding rule, my dust collector remote, and my safety glasses. So these are always just thrown in here so I can have easy access to them. Uh, I really like this folding rule, um, sometimes rather than using a tape measure. I find that, especially if I'm measuring an inside corner or something like that, it gives me a little bit more accuracy. And also it's again, both standard and metric, which comes in handy. Now, another thing to note about this pouch, which is really cool, is on the side here, you have really strong magnets on both of these, both sides here. So a lot of times if I'm using a uh, little Allen key, uh, maybe for my laser or CNC, um, or just putting something together, or if I have a little screwdriver or whatever, it just sticks on the side. And these are really strong. So, I mean, this is a powerful magnet. I've put on um, my machinist squares and um, 
other larger metal items uh, that you know I didn't want to lose. And it, it, it's actually so powerful that it kind of locks in this knife too and whatever metal items I have on the side here. So it keeps them from jiggling around and stuff too. So that's just kind of a nice little bonus. But, so I've used tool pouches before and they've been okay. Like if I'm doing a little bit of electrical work or something around the house or a little DIY stuff. And it's nice to have everything just right on your hip. But the pouches were not set up as nice as this. Um, usually it's just like one big catch-all pouch, maybe some Velcro. Uh, they're made out of a canvas material. But this thing is just substantial. I mean, it's suede, suede front, just super thick suede, uh, extra thick uh, leather uh, backing here, and a super strong metal hook. So when you put this thing on your belt, it stays. It's not coming off. In the past, I've had some that are Velcro or smaller uh, duty um, belt clip, and um, they just didn't work nearly as good as this. So it's very comfortable to wear. You can bend over. You can, you know, crouch down anything like that, and it's just super comfortable, especially after a year, it's really broken in. It was a little stiff when I first got it, but that's just because this leather part here is, um, I mean, it's super thick, which is nice, but at first, first it's, a little, it's a little stiff, and you need to break it in a little bit, but after a little bit of time, it's been, it's been great, and this is a piece that I'm going to have, I think, forever. I mean, it's that well built. Like, this is not going to break down on you. I could tell that a lot of thought went into this product as they were designing it. And I know they did because I remember how Sedge and Jason Bent were um, talking about this last year. And they were showing a little bit about how they uh, were testing this and kind of going through the or testing out the prototype. So I know a lot of thought went into this. You can tell it just it everything has a, has a purpose here. And there's nothing I don't like about it. There's no no cons. Um, All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I plan on doing more reviews uh, like this in the future, so uh, please subscribe and like, follow along in the future. Um, there's going to be more to come. So again, this is the Sedgley Tool Pouch made by Leather by Dragonfly. Couldn't recommend this anymore.